Hello there friends and welcome back for part 3 of 3 of my placeable coffee pack and donut pack mod review. Today in part 3 we're going to be covering the placeable egg production facility and the donut production plant. So what we're going to do guys is I'm going to take you over to the website, show you what uh, mods you're going to have to download to get this up and running. We'll come back, I'll discuss a few things regarding these mods, we'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs and then we'll fill them up and get it going and I will show you just how this works. So let's get started. Okay, here we are over on the BDBSSB mods website. For the people that have been following me up to this point, you will already have all the mods you need to get this going. Uh, this is basically for the people that are just joining us now. Uh, so if you follow the link I provide for you down below, it's going to bring you over here. You just want to go down here and click on Factory Pack. Scroll down and you will need this here Master Pack Trailer and Cell. That's a cell point, which is the coffee house and these two tippers here. Just click on that. There is your zip file. Just click on that. Click on Download. Direct Download and it's going to open a folder just make it make sure it's the appropriate for folder uh, farming simulator 2017 mods and press save and you're ready to go you don't have to unpack that or anything so just go back a page once you downloaded that and then you're going to want to download the coffee pack itself just click on the picture here to download the coffee pack and once you hit the arrow back you're going to want to come back over here and click on this eye icon right down here it's going to open up a different page now you're going to get three links here. These are tanker packs and this one has a bunch of mods in it. There's a few tankers. It's the AR pack by NC Raiders. So you can download uh, Farmer Andy's Cote Universal tanker pack. If you already have it, you're all set up. But uh, yeah, you might want to download this because it comes with all kinds of additional tankers. But the one I have been downloading is this one here. This has all the uh, tankers you'll need for this setup here. And once you have that, you're just going to come down a little bit further and click on this to get your donut pack. Once you download that, you'll have everything you need. Just, uh, yeah, you don't have to unzip these files or anything. Just put them on in your mods folder and you're ready to go. So let's go back over to the map. Okay, so we'll start over here with the uh, placeable egg production facility. We'll go up to the monitor here. If that doesn't come up, just press F1 and you can see that we need wheat, barley, or corn, and water, and it's going to produce manure and eggs. Getting manure from your chickens, that's crazy. I like it though. Never seen that before, but I will definitely go along with that. So your manure will pile up there. When you add the, uh, the ingredients, you'll see the chickens appear. And you pick up your manure from the outside here. You're going to pick up your eggs right there. You're going to drop off your grain right there, and your water dropped off right there. And this will hold 200,000 liters of each. So, next up, we have the placeable donut plant. Go up to, there's the monitor right there. This needs five different ingredients, guys. You need flowers, vegetable oil, sugar, eggs, milk, and water. So, all those little mills over there produce all of that you get your eggs from there the only thing actually you're going to need is water so we will get this filled up let's take a little look around first so when you're driving in all your dry goods are going to be mostly on this side there is your flour there is your eggs there's where you're going to pick up your pallets of donuts and check this so you can see the donuts inside the machine and they drop off the conveyor belt there and most of your wet stuff is going to go on this side with all the silos here the water, the milk, the vegetable oil, and that's for your sugar there. It's the only dry one on this side. So let's quickly go over to the shop. I'll show you where these are located. Right under this little fella here. Just click on that. There is your donut production plant. $10,000, $10 a day maintenance fee. And there is your egg production. $10,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. They're pretty large placeable, so you will have to uh, find a nice flat piece of land. If you see the ramp really extending out that far, you probably want to put it somewhere else. Yeah, so it's more flatter. Right there where, where those places are is a great spot. But uh, yeah, that's where they are in the shop. Okay, so let's get these filled up. We'll start with the eggs here because that's going to be one of the ingredients we need for the donuts, of course. We'll start with the water here. 
getting a little bit of lag because I got so much going on here. Oops. Just drive straight on through. I actually got two tankers of each. Just because I want uh, two loads of it so I can show you that these can be sold at the uh, coffee house as well. There we go. And we get another tanker over here full of water ready to roll out. Let's get on that. Bring him around the back. Yeah, if you don't put it on a nice flat area, you're going to have an awful bump in the front. Okay. So, we'll let him fill up there. That's not going to completely fill it, because these only hold 60,000 liters each. But we have two tippers here, full of grain. This will be more than enough, because these hold 120,000 each. I'm just going to drive up, right up the side here. Zoom in a little bit. Get rid of that screen. And yeah, any one of those three products, that's all you need. Corn, wheat, or barley. And this happens to be wheat. See the chickens appearing? They're teleporting chickens. Okay, that's out of the way. Yeah, whenever I pull up to these trucks here, it starts lagging just a little bit. Not too, too bad. Okay, we'll get the second trailer of grain dumped in and we'll start up our egg production. I'm actually going to crank time up here ever so slightly right now. You can see the nice little monitor that pops up there telling you all your increments. Oh, that's not actually everything. What's it not showing? I don't think the vegetable oil is there. But, yeah. That's okay. It probably just wasn't enough room. Or there's probably a button you can press to get that to come up. Okay, you're out of the way. Or you're filling up, I mean. Let's get this guy off the ramp. We'll just bring him right over to the uh, mills over here and start filling them up. Over here we have some vegetable oil. We'll start filling this guy up. grab this guy and get him out of the way so that's all that's gonna hold eh? yeah so as you can see just starting to go down now because I have time cranked up but 200,000 liters of each it'll hold I like how they hold a lot so you don't have to uh, be checking them all the time okay so we will grab a flatbed and if you didn't catch the first two parts you're going to need these trailers here which are par part of that pack and these deal with the uh, with the product that comes from these okay I'm going to start at the end here so I don't get mixed up start loading this up with some flour very nice love the packaging on that looks fantastic and I think that's an actual brand name looks like one anyway So yeah, most of your dry ingredients are going to go on this side, except for the sugar. Flour is going to go in the very first one here. Okay, we'll let him unload while we go and fill the tanker up with water. A little placeable here. Leave him go, and we will grab our vegetable oil. See some eggs being produced there, very nice. Okay, let's bring this guy inside. Vegetable oils, that one right there. Start filling that up. Just leave him there for now, and we will grab our flatbed full of. Oh, we already brought him in. He's all unloaded. Very nice. 
grab some more. Well, grab some sugar next. And then we'll, the eggs are the last uh, solid product we'll need. Let's bring down the sides. You can press the X button to get that down if you're not too sure. Doesn't matter if they're up or down, it's still going to fill up regardless the same way. So, while he's filling up, we'll grab our water here. Yeah, this needs quite a bit of stuff to get up and running. Five different things. And we'll get his butt out of the way. is water that would be at the end here okay I'll leave you at that go over and grab our sugar that's the only dry one that's on this side the rest is all water or uh, liquids I should say And while that's unloading, we'll go move this tanker out of the way. Now, I do believe that's it. Let me double check the uh, monitor here. Just to make sure. We have our flour, vegetable oil, sugar. We need our eggs. Oh, we need milk. Yes, we need our milk. Which is the green one over here. Same with these two guys. You're going to want to find a nice flat piece of land to put these on. Or you're going to run into some problems with bumps. Okay, I'm going to slow down time here so I don't overdo it just yet. We've got 60,000 liters of milk aboard. We'll drop that off, and it's just a matter of getting our eggs. So I'll bring him around and start collecting the eggs. Is there many chickens in there? Oh yeah, there's all kinds. Cool. Very nice packaging on that as well. Grade A. Large grade A eggs. Love it. Okay, we got 60,000 liters of that. I'm actually... No, no, I'm going to put it in here first. Okay, let's jump inside, get our milk delivered, and that will be it. After our eggs. I like how they're all color coordinated there. You can tell pretty much at a glance that that first was water, milk. Uh, if that one is kind of yellowish, I guess. There is our milk. Bring this guy over to the side. And we'll deliver our eggs. I'm going to crank time back up here so we can get some more eggs made. Because I want to show you that you can also sell them at the coffee house. And we're going the wrong way. We went over this side. Drop our eggs over here. I like how the pallets fill up on the sides too. That makes it look really cool. There goes our donuts, guys. Look at them. That's awesome. Donuts, donuts. Bring on the donuts. Okay. So there we go. We got that up and running. That is so cool. Okay. I wonder if I can just cross over here to pick these up. I know we can drive through them, but I'm not sure if the trigger will activate from this angle. No. Probably easier just to drive straight on through there. There we go. Let's 
crank up time even faster to get this thing filled right up. Oh, it won't hold two layers. Okay, that's fine. Slow down time here again. I seen the smoke coming from inside there. I thought something was on fire. Okay, so we'll bring the eggs over to the coffee house to show you that they can be sold here. I'd imagine those donuts bring in a pretty good profit because if you sell all these uh, products individually, you get really good money. So they're going to be some expensive donuts. Let's see what we get for the eggs, guys. Eighty-six thousand four hundred. Don't mind the other two numbers. That's just uh, income from our let's play. Eighty-six thousand four hundred for all for eggs. Trailer full of eggs. Okay, so our donuts are being made. I do believe we picked them up from the other side. I love how the ingredients are going in there and being mixed. Check it out. That is so neat. And everything's cooked in that one silo, I guess. <laughs> Made into donuts and everything. Oh, they don't even look... They look like Timbits. Oh, that's punching the holes in them, I see. Huh, that's awesome. And then they're cooking in there. You can even hear it, listen. The donut fryer. Ah! Don't burn. Donut fryer. That's so cool. I love it, I love it. Okay. Let's bring this guy in on around. Yeah, I can't wait to see what we get for these. I kind of forget. Okay. Let's start filling him up. Oh, let's crank time up here. I like how the boxes aren't perfectly straight, too. That's cool. It actually looks more realistic that way. And I like how you don't have to load the pallets on too. It fills up like a cedar. So that way you don't have to move the pallet. Move the pallet to keep production flowing, right? Just wait until I get 60,000 liters here. We're almost there. Oh, just about. There we go. 60,000 liters. Slow down time here so we don't get into the night. And we'll go sell our donuts. Look at them donuts. Oh yeah. Donut shop. Coming in for the delivery. Okay, we should get a really good price for this. So like I said, don't mind those green numbers over there. That's for something else. It'll be the last number you see here. So, here's your donuts. Hold on with your coffee. We'll wash it down. See over a hundred. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> one hundred fifty-one thousand two hundred dollars for donuts. <laughs> hey, I knew it had to be a lot because when you sell these products individually, uh, you get quite a bit as it is. So that is so cool. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this three-part series. Sorry I had to do it up in three parts, but if you've seen them all together, you can understand. You wouldn't want all that jammed together. But there you have it. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed these uh, three videos. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel, it would really, really help out, guys. So, until next time, take care, and we will see you all in the next one.